name is Seema Beg. The tool which I'm going to present today is Mind Maps. And Mind map. Here is a sample mind map which has been made by one of my students using PowerPoint presentation. So let's get started and check as to how to use Flowworks first. So this is a Flowworks Pro which I'm going to use right now and uh, this is used for the smart board. So I'm going to show how to make a mind map over here. For example, I'm going to make a mind map on the types of plant cells. Okay, so I'm going to select text and type plant cells over here. After this, I'm going to go to the shapes. I'm going to select whichever shape I need. I'm going to select the arrow first, this arrow, and I'm going to create how many ever uh, portions I need, how many ever branches I need in order to explain my topic. For example, I need three because I'm talking about three types of plant cells. So I'm again going to the text and I'm typing the types of cells over here, which are parenchyma. You can also decrease the font size. You can change the color. For example, I can reduce the font size like that to 20. I can change the color to red or you can make any changes which you need like that over here, for example. This is the red color which I'm using. All right. So you can also increase and decrease the size of this however you need. And I'm again going to the text that I'm selecting over here. And I'm going to select the next cell type, which is calling Hyma. And again, I'm going to do the same quickly. I'm going to reduce and I may go to the green color next. Okay, and my third type of cell over here is sclerenchyma. So I'm going to type sclerenchyma and the same thing again. I'm going to decrease the font size to whichever I need and I'm going to change the color. You can use any font, any color or any size which you need. Now, for example, I need to uh, give explanation of what these are, okay? So I will make this purple, I'm sorry. Then we will go again to the text and you can add a few points about what you're going to teach about parenchyma. For example, I'm going to tell them that it is, they are the cells which are used to store starch and oils. So, so I'm again going to make this font even the more or less because this is the explanation. We will go to 15 and we will change the color to, for example, purple. Okay. Now the students want to know how the parenchyma cells look like. So I may want to add a picture. So you may go to resource and over here you can use a resource which has already been saved on your computer. You can click on the computer. You can go to locals or personal, 
okay so under personal if you want you can search for whatever image you need uh, or you can go to personal for example like that and if you need an image of an animal a bird a food anything you can add like that for example if I'm going to add an animal picture like a bear so here is the bear's picture so you can add it like that if you don't want you can delete it so or you can undo it like that okay so I need to add a picture of a parenchyma cell which has already been stored on my computer so I'll go to resources I'll go to computer and I'm going to open my desktop over here. I'm going to select parenchyma. So I will select P. Here I have my picture, parenchyma here first. Okay, just give me a moment. Here I have. So I will add, this is how this parenchyma cell looks like right here now I'll again go to the resources and I will select my next cell which is colenchyma I can make this smaller like that okay and this is the colenchyma cell Okay, similarly, I can add any uh, kind of a picture from my laptop for parenchyma and sclerenchyma, etc., which have already been added like that. Got it? So this is how we make a very good kind of a mind map, which is very attractive. You can use the uh, uses, the names, etc. by using. Now let's go to the PowerPoint presentation and let me show how to use a uh, uh, make create a mind map using PPT here you can use you can go to insert if you want to use any picture from online so for example I'm going to talk about the structure of heart so I will type structure of heart over here and I will select whichever picture I need which is ideal for me to explain the structure of a heart okay for example, I'm going to use this picture. Okay, so this is the picture which I'm going to label now. For example, if I need to crop the unwanted thing from here, so I will crop it till here. Okay, and then I'm going to label this heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to home over here. Okay, and I will select whichever thing I need from these shapes. So I'm using the arrow mark in order to show what are all these parts of a heart. For example, I'm going to label this first. You can select the color of this arrow. You can select the thickness of, it, of this arrow. Also go to the weight and do like that. And here I'm going to add labeling. So I will use the shape and here like that. I'm going to write down the name of this, which is Aorta. Okay, I want to add the function of this, so I will go back to the home again. I will use the shape this time. I will draw the shape, and this iota, it, it is used. Uh, I can make it big, small, like that. So its function is to carry uh, oxygenated blood from heart. Okay, so this is how I can show the function. Similarly, I can show the various parts and functions of the heart by selecting whichever shape you need like that. Okay, for example, I'm going to show the uh, right atrium, the right ventricle, etc. So every time you need to click on this and every time you need to select the color like that and you can also make it bolder if you need by going to the weight and you can add how many ever functions how many ever uh, labeling like that so this is a picture mind map which you can use make you, which you can make by using a powerpoint presentation and you can also uh, make it uh, a, a normal type of an explanation powerpoint uh, mind map by using this powerpoint the third thing which you can use is by using the 
Google Docs. So you can go to Google Docs from your uh, any kind of a search engine and you can start a new document okay and over here again you can insert whichever shape you need whichever uh, uh, picture you need for example if you want to insert an image over here okay so again you can go and search the web you can or also upload from your computer for example if I'm going to uh, explain about a leaf tissue okay so here is the tissue I need okay so here again I will use this tissue in order to explain you can make it big small okay and again over here if you want to use the arrow marks you if you want to use the explanation you can do all that we can create a mind map very easily by using this google docs okay so i will show you how to do it so you will again go to insert okay you can go to drawing all right and you will go to new and here you can use the arrow mark like that okay and you can use how many ever you need for example if I'm talking about the types of tissues which are present over here and I will save and close and that would be coming on to your main document like that okay so from here again I can edit I can add pictures and I can uh, add text so this is how you can save and once you're making it you can go to the file and you can save the mind map that you have done all right so this is how you can use the simple apps in order to make your mind maps and here i'm showing the various steps i've included in my ppt mind maps by using these various steps and also how to plan your mind map how to create your mind map all the steps have been included by using the PowerPoint presentation here and also by using the Google Docs over here all right and I also included about the detailed analysis which is students are facing increasing pressure to master new concepts quickly so you can use the mind maps in order to solve this problem uh, the students and teachers alike are embracing mind maps as a valuable learning tool these days uh, so mind map has a very bright future because uh, these are just a few ways the students and teachers can apply mind mapping as a way to improve the learning process. The mind mapping can help students to better understand various concepts to improve retention and to simply make learning more interesting. It's definitely worthwhile to apply mind mapping to different areas of instruction and study. And my motto is to make mind maps as a lifelong learning tool, inshallah. Thank you so much for your patience.